Alright guys, welcome back to I believe part 4 of Let's Play Earthbound. Uh, while I was gone, uh, I hit the 3 digit mark for my HP. Um, I'm pretty confident, I know I said it had to be uh, I think 14 for, for whatever reason, but I'm really confident that I'm safe at 12. Uh, pretty much what I did was I went in and out of these caves training 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 until I uh, got low HP came out here life upped and then uh, this this area right here has a high spawn rate for butterflies so I'll just come out here and utilize that butterfly uh, trick that I showed you and I hadn't haven't had to go home at all didn't die once so it was good so uh, let's get on with it Um, <clears throat> yeah, fuck it, I'll fight him. I can also kill these in one hit now. I'm pretty anal about my, uh, my RPGs. When, when I get to a boss, I really, really like to be, uh, full life and full everything, so... I guess that could be a downfall and uh, uh, an upside. So let's get on with it. No one came. Yeah. Um, I. Like I said, I, I believe I first played this game when I was 7 or 8 or so. Uh, pop. Da, 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 da. Yeah, like I was saying, I believe I first played this game when I was 7 or 8 or so. Um, then when I was in the 6th grade, I met a friend, his name is Michael Hill. Um, and they had this earthbound cartridge sitting there and I was ecstatic about it. I was like, oh my god, you have the earthbound cartridge. So, um, they didn't really know how to play earthbound. Uh, I'll get back to that story. You finally got here. This is the first year sanctuary location, but it's mine. No, take it from me if you dare. Uh, so yeah, they didn't really know how to play it because the beginning of this game truly is, uh, it starts off slow, but once you get to like around here where I am, it gets to a really good game. You know, it's, it just starts picking up immediately, especially once you leave one at it's it. The game just really picks up and envelops you. So you just got to get over that little hump. But uh, PSI rocking at first to get the black antoid that's behind him, cause that thing will dupe you. So yeah. Uh, I actually traded him Star Fox for the Super Nintendo Star Fox and Mega Man X for the Super Nintendo for this cartridge and I do not regret that one bit uh, it, you know in, in nostalgia wise and sentimental wise and even uh, you know profit profit wise you know money uh, I believe I made the the best decision. I believe if you go on uh, online and, and look for uh, a cartridge of, of Earthbound, you know it's like 550 something dollars around there. Uh, so bam, that's that. Um, let's see, Star Fox was not a lot at all. I think it was like 20 dollars. Um, and, uh, Mega Man X was, I believe, 200 and something dollars, so, hey, you do the math. And this game, to me, is, is way better. So, once, once I did the trade, and, and it was officially my game, and I knew it was safe, I showed them about the game, and I, I walked them through it, and we played together, and, and... They, he just didn't know how to get past the meteorite part. Oh, after that, you know, this game was me and his game. We fucking played it fucking every day. 
and the times we had was just great. So, uh, I still talk to him. Right now, uh, my soundstone is recording the Sanctuary song, I guess. Um, so, to this day, we, we talk, but he moved up north about five hours. I still go on a road trip to visit him every now and then, but, you know, gas nowadays. Ness caught a glimpse of a small, cute puppy. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the giant step. Alright. Every time you get into a sanctuary or my sanctuary, uh, your HP and PP fully max out. Uh, that battle did give me 700 and something uh, experience, so yeah, 108, and I'm about to level again to level 13. Uh, just to show you what the soundstone does. Ness touched the sound to stone to his forehead, gathered his thoughts. There you go, there's our first sanctuary. Bam. Giant step. Alright. Once you defeat a boss in a place, you'll notice that all the enemies uh, that were around the area beforehand now run from you, which means you can run up behind them and easily get a green. Why did I not even get a green that time? I don't know. But it was just once, so I got an instant kill anyways. I do not want a cookie. Cookie? No cookie. Um, so yeah, they all run. Why is it not green? What is going on here? That's actually kind of irritating. It's supposed to be green because, you know, they're running away from you. So you get behind them. But, whatever. And stop giving me cookies. I don't want a goddamn cookie with your 6 HP healing. Oh, there goes my level. Alrighty. Yeah, I also, uh, how I said I'm pretty anal with my uh, RPGs, you'll notice that that I tend to like to be over-leveled when I'm in an area, just because I like to be better safe than sorry, but, you know, I guess that's not 100% always the case, but for the most part, I do like to be over-leveled, because uh, that's just the way I play them. It's just the way I play them. Big whoop, wanna fight about it? Alright, let's see if I can get a green. Come on. There we go. He still sneaks up. Whatever. That's a nice smash. 130 damage. I shouldn't even bother with these guys, because at this point, the amount of experience needed to level is ridiculous yeah 1.5 K so I'm just gonna move on uh oh officer uh let me hey you ah, let me think of an officers ah fuck it hey you the board says do not enter couldn't you read it no what a rebellious kid come to the one at police station later I will I'll take you up on that. They're gonna butt rape me. But 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 butt rape. All right. So before I head over to the police station, I am gonna go home because, like I said, when I enter uh, boss battles, which I'm not saying this is a boss battle. I'm not saying anything. Um, I like to have full life and full PP. So, here I go. Uh oh. What is this? Telepathy? Telepathy? Tel telepathy, there you go. Ness. <laughs> I know who it is, but I'm trying to make it a neutral, uh, unisex voice. Uh, whatever. Ness. 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 I'm a friend who have you never met before. Oh, I guess it's a giveaway now. My name is Paula. 
Can you hear me calling you? I am Paula. Strange. Uh oh. Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. It may be none of my business, but you don't. But don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? No. This guy, how did he call me when I don't have my receiver phone yet? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Anyways, I guess I'm going at a slow pace. They kind of figured that I should have it by now. But you know what? I don't. So, now that I'm fully healed. Um, another little tip, uh, if you ever want to save, hotels usually have free phones, don't go to the stores, or, or the shopping plazas, or the hospitals, or whatever, go into the, go into here, and just save from here. Well, not here, but any hotel, really. So, there we go. I got money up the butthole. <clears throat> and I'm off to the police station, which is the bottom right-hand corner of one at... Well, the cops said they wanted to see me, so... Let's see. I'm actually kind of scared. I believe you talked to this guy. Wise well, road to Twasson. Yes, Twasson, not Tucson. At least, if you're me. Twasson. The wise road to Twasson closed. An emergency, of course. At times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Anyway, are you sure you want to go to Twasson? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, Chortle. What's a Chortle? Chortle? War turtle, chortle. What? A, what is a chortle? Maybe it's like a clearing your throat. <coughs> chortle, <coughs> chortle. Whatever. Follow me. Uh oh. Show me what you got. I got a pee pee. <gasps> See if you get past five of my best men. Funny part is, I believe the fifth one uh, bails. Yeah. Hey, small fry, you must be shaking in your boots. Okay. Uh, so. Yep. Basically, you just want to take these out. Take these guys out one by one. Make sure you're healed on the fourth one. Because then you go into a mini boss. Which is the general chief whatever. You're tough. You should join the police force. I have a friend who's joining the police force. He's currently in the police academy. He's a cadet. Uh, your average policeman is stronger than any superhero. Yeah, uh, so my friend who's in the police forces, uh, his name is Anthony. Me and him are really good friends. He's kind of mad at me currently, though, because I neglected to... Well, I didn't neglect, I just forgot to invite him somewhere, but... That's beyond the point. Uh, it's a whole nother story, really. Uh, because obviously not all I do is LPs, you know, I have... Uh, kind of like a life, kind of, but not really. Um, so yeah, I got a lot of uh, um, hobbies. Like I said before, um, you know, I mentioned that I was recording uh, a song. I'm in a band, I'm in a few bands. One of them is a one-man band uh, called Drowning Your Mother, which is why... Uh, my my name in YouTube is Drowning Your Mother, so that's why that's like that. 
And I don't think I'm like an evil person for saying that. There's actually a funny story behind uh, why my name is like that. Basically, when I was in middle school, um, I told a kid that uh, that I I had a band. Yeah, and he asked me, uh, you know, because I I'm I'm the only white kid in the school, and I was. Uh, a rocker so you know that just like a double weird because uh, like I said I did grow up in the ghetto uh, so I was the only white kid he said oh so what's your name uh, what's your band name and, and he said uh, salad making fun of corn and I was like no ha 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 and then he said is it drowning your mother and I said you know what it is because honestly, I really liked that name as a band. It, it, I felt that it, you know, it, it had a lot of emotion and it was deep. In some way, you know, it's a deep, you know, drowning your fucking mom. Holy shit. So, that's why. Uh, yeah. Dry loss. This guy's like, screw it, I'm out of here. <laughs> this guy's a phony. There's no way I I can beat you in a straight competition, so get ready for my super ultra ma mambo tango. Uh, I didn't read the last two words. Whatever. Here on out, uh, I guess you just bash away. Oh, damn. That hurt. Um, damn. Um, shit. Please? Okay, cool. Jeez. Okay, I'll learn next time. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna make that same mistake again. Alright. There we go. Damn it! Well, I just gotta keep my my HP up, really. Oh, there we go. It's good to be over leveled at times. Even when you're over leveled, it's difficult, as you just saw. Uh, I didn't think you would do so well against the mighty one at police force. Excuse me. You want me to open the road to Twasen? Hang on for a second. I'll radio my my staff and give them the word. Oh man, I think I have hiccups. Beep, beep. <laughs> Click. Strong here. Do you read me? <laughs> hey, it's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen. A kid named Ness will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. I want you to open the road to Twasen for him. I know that. I know that. Don't ask me why. Just do it. That's an order. Strong out. Well, kid, I'm not gonna go question you now, but I do want to see you again. Good luck. All right. Well, now we enter the dark void of Twasen, which is directly down here. Um, I do not have full life or full PP, which I don't like like I said my analness is coming out analness <laughs> oh but uh, I'll live I mean really you should take advantage of your last free meal and free you know because after this you're gonna have to start paying for your hotels and all that good stuff um, so Hamburger inside. Okay, that's good. So I'm just gonna make my way down to Twasen. Tucson. Alright, the trees look different. There goes the hint mole. Well, not the hint mole, but the. I don't know what you call it. I guess it would be. Tip mole. Tip mole. There you go. 
gives you little tips. Uh, as for this, I'm really gonna want to take out the mushroom because they do that. Fuck. It was bound to happen. Um, this is a strange status ailment. It's interesting. Um, it affects you in battle and out of battle. In battle, it can make you attack yourself or attack uh, teammates, which I don't have. Out of battle can really, uh, all it really does is change the the D-pad. Uh, so if I'll be moving down, it'll randomly change every every now and then to to whatever. It'll switch up, and then you got to figure out which way's up, which way's down. And you got to work your way around. But there is an upside to these things. You can make an extra fifty dollars. Um, I'm still walking normal right now, which is good. I might make it. But if you find this guy with the blue hair, I believe he'll buy the the mushroom off your head for fifty dollars. Yeah. So. Wait, what I do? Okay, yeah, I got fifty dollars. Cool. And there you go. And it didn't affect me. You know, I, I ran there quick. You know, I know where everything is, so... Fuck it. Did I see a butterfly? No, I guess not. Wishful thinking, right? Um, I like this department store. There's a lot to do here. The bicycles. Oh. Fuzzy pickles. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photo faggot genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, Fuzzy Pickles. Well, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. Alright. Uh, I guess I should probably save Remember the Hotel. Yeah. Free phone. And I might be calling it here. Uh, I don't know. I wish I had a timer that that I could see, rather than having to to alt tab out of here, because I don't know if that's gonna affect my fraps recording, and I'm too afraid to check now that I'm this far into it. But I guess I will stop here. Um. I guess I'll see you next time on Let's Play Earthbound. Uh, I believe part five, maybe. Alright, be safe.